Katie Perry was born Catherine Elizabeth Hudson on October 25, 1984 in Santa Barbara, California to Mary Christine Hudson, née Perry, and Maurice Keith Hudson. She has a big sister named Angela and a little brother named David, and has English, Portuguese, German, Irish, and Scottish ancestry. Her mother's half-brother was director Frank Perry. Raised in a deeply religious family, Perry's first experience of performing was singing in church. A passion for music grew and at the age of 15, Perry began visiting Nashville, gaining experience of songwriting and recording demos. She signed to a Christian record label, Red Hill, and recorded an album, under her birth name of Katie Hudson. The album was not a success. At age 17 she moved to Los Angeles and collaborated with producer Glenn Ballard, but was not able to secure a lasting record deal. Perry did sign to Columbia Records in 2004, but again this did not prove a success, and she was dropped. An executive at Columbia recommended Perry to the chairman of Virgin Records, Jason Flom, which resulted in her signing for Capital Music Group. She recorded her second album, One of the Boys and in the spring of 2008 released the lead single, the controversial I Kissed a Girl. The song proved a smash, hitting the number one slot in several countries. Other hit singles followed and the album was a commercial success. Perry was now established as a pop superstar and cemented her position with the release of her next album Teenage Dreams, which spawned more huge hits including California Girls and Firework. Many awards and music industry records followed. In 2012 Perry made the move into movies, releasing the documentary feature film Part of Me, 2012. Katie has started her own record label called Metamorphosis Music and has signed her very first artist Faraz, who was signed to Capitol Records back in 2007 with Katie Perry. He had released an EP the same day that the record label news was released to the public. There is also a duet with Katie on his new EP, they are expected to be on tour together in North America June 22nd in Raleigh, North Carolina October 11 in Houston, Texas. Perry has supported various charitable organizations and causes throughout her career. She has contributed to organizations aimed at improving the lives and welfare of children in particular. In April 2013, she joined UNICEF to assist children in Madagascar with education and nutrition. On December 3, 2013, she was officially named a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, with a special focus on engaging young people in the agency's work to improve the lives of the world's most vulnerable children and adolescents. She arranged for a portion of the money generated from tickets to her Prismatic World Tour to go to UNICEF. In September 2010, she helped build and design the Boys Hope Slash Girls Hope Foundation Shelter for Youth in Baltimore, Maryland along with Raven Simone, Shaquille O'Neal, and the cast of Extreme Makeover, Home Edition. In 2010, Perry and Nicki Minaj performed a cover of Girls Just Want to Have Fun for service members during the 2010 VH1 Diva Salute the Troops concert. She has also supported children's education and well-being. All profits from sales of the album The Gay 90s Old Time Music, Daisy Bell, which includes her rendition of Daisy Bell, Bicycle Built for Two, were donated to the charity Little Kids Rock, which supports musical education in underprivileged elementary schools. In June 2014, she teamed up with Staples Incorporated for a project entitled Make Roar Happen which donated $1 million to Donors Choose, an organization that supports teachers and funds classroom resources in public schools. In May 2016, she worked with UNICEF to improve child care quality in Vietnam, hoping to break the cycle of poverty and drastically improve children's health, education, and well-being. The following month, UNICEF announced that Perry would receive the Audrey Hepburn Humanitarian Award for her work as a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador in support of the world's most vulnerable children at their annual Snowflake Ball in November. All Spotify streams of her 2021 cover of All You Need Is Love will generate $1 in donations for the charity Baby 2 Baby. Perry has supported organizations aimed at aiding people suffering with diseases including cancer and HIV-AIDS. 
During the 2008 Warp Tour, she had a cast made of her breasts to raise money for the Keep a Breast Foundation. She hosted and performed at the We Can Survive concert along with Bonnie McKee, Casey Musgraves, Sarah Borellis, Ellie Golding, and duo Tegan and Sarah at the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles, California, on October 23, 2013. The concert's profits were donated to Young Survival Coalition, an organization aiding breast cancer in young women. In June 2009, she designed an item of clothing for H&M's Fashion Against AIDS campaign, which raises money for HIV-AIDS awareness projects. On February 26, 2017, she served as a co-chair alongside various celebrities such as Beyoncé, Lee Michelle, Jim Carrey, Jared Leto, and Kevin Spacey for the 25th annual Elton John AIDS Foundation Academy Award Party, a fundraiser for HIV-AIDS healthcare. The proceeds from Perry's single part of me were donated to the charity Music Cares, which helps musicians in times of need. During her California Dreams tour, she raised over $175,000 for the tickets for charity fundraiser. The money was divided between three charities, the Children's Health Fund, CHF, Generosity Water, and the Humane Society of the United States. On her 27th birthday, Perry set up a donations page for the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Auckland, and set up a similar page benefiting the David Lynch Foundation for her 28th birthday. On March 29, 2014, she helped raise $2.4 million for the Museum of Contemporary Art in Los Angeles along with other celebrities such as Ryan Seacrest, Pharrell Williams, Tim Allen, Lisa Edelstein, and Riley Kia. Perry performed at the One Love Manchester Benefit Concert for the victims of the 2017 Manchester Arena bombing, among various performers including its organizer Ariana Grande, which was broadcast live on June 4, 2017, on radio and television stations around the world. In March 2018, Perry announced Witness, Coming Home, a benefit concert that was held in her hometown of Santa Barbara on May 19. 2018. The concert benefited those recovering from the aftermath of the 2017 California wildfires and 2018 Southern California mudflows. Perry partnered with the Santa Barbara Foundation, the 93,108 Fund and the 805 Undaka Fund, organizations which help in assisting members of the community in the Santa Barbara area through grants and various philanthropic efforts. Her activism Perry has publicly advocated for LGBT rights and admitted that she wrote I Kissed a Girl about her own bisexual experiences with other women. In 2017, she received a Nation Equality Award from Human Rights Campaign for using her powerful voice and international platform to speak out for LGBTQ equality. In her acceptance speech, she discussed having bisexual experiences, her fluid sexuality, and thanked the LGBTQ community. In an out interview in 2021, she was heralded as a gay icon with I Kissed a Girl being called a bona fide queer anthem. Perry continued to thank the LGBTQ community in the same interview, saying, I came from a very sheltered upbringing where it wasn't okay to be friends with anyone from that community. And now that is my community. She also mentioned I wouldn't have survived without the community and it's amazing how full circle it's come and how much growth has happened since I started. Tomash Meyer of Rolling Stone remarked Perry championed queer folks, especially drag queens, throughout her career. She dedicated the music video to her song Firework to the It Gets Better project. In 2008, Perry told Do Something she was proud to be an LGBT rights activist, saying I've always been a very open-minded person, but I definitely believe in equality. In June 2012, Perry expressed her hopes for LGBT equality, commenting hopefully, we will look back at this moment and think like we do now concerning other civil rights issues. We'll just shake our heads in disbelief, saying, thank God we've evolved. That would be my prayer for the future. In December 2012, Perry was awarded the Trevor Hero Award by the Trevor Project for her work and activism on behalf of LGBT youth. 
Perry identifies as a feminist, and appeared in April 2013 in a video clip for the Chime for Change campaign that aimed to spread female empowerment. She has also said that America's lack of free health care drove her absolutely crazy. Following the shooting at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando in June 2016, Perry and nearly 200 other artists and executives in music signed an open letter organized by Billboard addressed to United States Congress demanding increased gun control in the United States. Through Twitter and by performing at rallies, Perry supported President Barack Obama in his run for re-election and praised his support for same-sex marriage and LGBT equality. She performed at three rallies for Obama, in Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Wisconsin, singing a rendition of Let's Stay Together as well as a number of her songs. During her Las Vegas performance she wore a dress made to replicate a voting ballot, with Obama's box filled in. On Twitter, she encouraged her followers to vote for Obama. In August 2013, Perry voiced criticism of Tony Abbott, then leader of Conservative Liberal Party of Australia and candidate for Prime Minister of Australia, due to his opposition to gay marriage and told Abbott, I love you as a human being but I can't give you my vote. The statement came after Abbott expressed pride at learning of Perry's then upcoming performance in Australia. In April 2014, she publicly supported Marianne Williamson in her campaign for California's 33rd Congressional District by attending a political press event. She endorsed Kamala Harris in the United States Senate election in California, and organized a fundraiser for Harris at her home in Los Angeles in November 2016. Perry also publicly endorsed former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton for president in 2016. She performed alongside Elton John at a fundraising concert for Clinton in New York City in March 2016. Perry also spoke and performed at the 2016 Democratic National Convention in support of Clinton. Four years later, she supported Joe Biden and Kamala Harris during the 2020 United States presidential election, praising the latter as a leader who had experience we desperately need right now and believed that the former choosing her as his running mate is already a testament to his decision making. In 2022, Perry posted a picture of herself voting for Rick Caruso in the 2022 Los Angeles mayoral election. Her achievements Throughout her career, Perry has won five American Music Awards, 14 People's Choice Awards, four Guinness World Records, a Brit Award, and a Juno Award. In September 2012, Billboard dubbed her the Woman of the Year. From May 2010 to September 2011, the singer spent a record-breaking 69 consecutive weeks in the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100. Teenage Dream became the first album by a female artist to produce five number one Billboard Hot 100 singles, and the second album overall after Michael Jackson's Bad. In the United States, she has accumulated nine number one singles on the Billboard Hot 100, her most recent being Dark Horse, and holds the record for having 18 consecutive number one songs on the Billboard Dance Club Songs chart. Billboard also named her the 15th most successful dance club artist of all time. The magazine additionally ranked her fourth on its greatest of all time pop songs artists list, included Teenage Dream and Prism among its greatest of all time Billboard 200 albums by women list, and ranked Dark Horse at number 100 on its greatest of all time Hot 100 songs as well as one of its greatest of all time Hot 100 songs by women along with E.T, Firework, and California Girls. In June 2015, her music video for Dark Horse became the first video by a female artist to reach 1 billion views on Vivo. The following month, her music video for Roar reached 1 billion views on Vivo, making her the first artist to have multiple videos with 1 billion views. With more than 18 million albums and 125 million singles sold globally, Perry is one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Perry was declared the top global female recording artist of 2013 by the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry, IFPI. According to RIA, she is the ninth top digital singles artist in the United States, 
with 112 million certified song units in the country including on-demand streams and also has 17.5 million certified album units, totaling 129.5 million certified units in the United States. She also became the first artist to have three songs receive diamond certifications from the RIA in 2017 with Dark Horse, Firework, and Roar. All three of them and E.T., California Girls, and Hot and Cold have each sold over 5 million digital copies. Six years later, the RIA certified California Girls as her fourth diamond certified single in the U.S., breaking her tie with Lady Gaga as the female artist with the most diamond singles there. In 2011, Forbes ranked her third on their top earning women in music list with earnings of $44 million and fifth on their 2012 list with $45 million. She subsequently ranked seventh on the 2013 Forbes list for top earning women in music with $39 million earned, and fifth on their 2014 list with $40 million. With earnings of $135 million, Forbes also ranked Perry number one on their 2015 top earning women in music list as well as the world's highest paid musicians and declared her the highest earning female celebrity in 2015, placing her at number three on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list. In 2016, the magazine estimated her net worth was $125 million, and ranked her number six on their list of highest paid women in music with earnings of $41 million. The following year, she was ranked number nine on the list with $33 million. In 2018, she topped its highest paid women in music listing and ranked at number four on the highest paid female celebrities list, with earnings of $83 million. Perry subsequently was placed at number 4 on the 2019 highest paid women in music listings, with $57.5 million. Later that year, with earnings of $530 million throughout the 2010s, the magazine also ranked her as the ninth highest earning musician of the decade. Her discography and filmography Katie Hudson, 2001, One of the Boys, 2008 Teenage Dream, 2010, Prism, 2013, Witness, 2017, Smile, 2020. The Smurfs, 2011, Katy Perry, Part of Me, 2012, The Smurfs 2, 2013, Brand, A Second Coming, 2015. Katy Perry, The Prismatic World Tour, 2015, Katy Perry, Making of the Pepsi Super Bowl Halftime Show, 2015, Jeremy Scott, The People's Designer, 2015, Zoolander 2, 2016. Katy Perry is one of the best-selling musical artists of all time. Her albums have sold more than 43 million copies worldwide, and her songs have been streamed more than 30 billion times. She was the first person to surpass 100 million followers on Twitter. In 2013, Katie was appointed UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador for her commitment to improving the lives of children. From traveling to Vietnam and Madagascar to highlight the needs of some of the world's most vulnerable, to raising awareness of UNICEF's emergency relief efforts, Katie has used her voice to advocate for children across the globe. In 2016, she was honored with UNICEF's Audrey Hepburn Humanitarian Award. Katie has also been a champion for LGBTQ plus equality and has received numerous awards for her work, including the Trevor Project's Hero Award in 2012, the Human Rights Campaign's National Equality Award in 2017, and MFARS Award of Courage in 2018. Thank you for watching this video.